I just think that we need to remember all four components and as marketers spend a little bit less trying to get me into that store and make it a whole lot more enjoyable once I'm there to know what I'm buying and to go home with confidence. Hey guys, this is Chris. Hey, I just wanted to take a minute this morning to share with you uh, just this terrible shopping experience that I just had and to see if we can learn from this to be actually better at our job as marketers. So I was in the market for a new home printer. Uh, and so I went to a big box retail store and uh, found two aisles of printers, all of which looked essentially the same. They're all kind of, you know, these tan or white uh, plastic boxes that uh, are anywhere from eight to 12 inches tall and a foot or two wide. And I'm completely overwhelmed by the choice. And, you know, nothing, no advertising brought me into this store. A, a need did. I needed a printer. And I went to a place that sort of claims some expertise around helping the small business owner and being very entrepreneurial centric. And uh, certainly their selection was helpful uh, in terms of I had dozens of choices, but the buying process was completely overwhelming. The information on the packaging uh, was not intuitive. It was using letters and numbers and acronyms that I didn't understand. Uh, the price points were completely confusing. I could get a printer for $89, $299, $499, all the way up to like $900. And it wasn't obvious to me uh, why the differences in price. I, I called an associate over uh, trying to get some help and uh, he was completely unhelpful. Uh, and I just think that we need to remember as marketers that there are four moments that really influence purchase behavior and create advocates. And uh, awareness in terms of traditional paid media that drives me into the store was not necessary. I, I knew when my need arose because my printer broke and I had lots of places to go and get one online and offline. I was just out and about running errands, so I thought that I would go to a bricks and mortar store. Um, but when you start focusing on, on consideration, the information that would separate one printer from the other, from this sea of sameness that was so intimidating at the store, nobody really went out of their way to use language that I could understand and make the, and make the benefits so compelling that theirs stood out uh, upon the others. And then certainly moment of purchase, you know, nothing about the, the training of those retail associates made my decision easier. Nothing about the price point, the finance options, the warranty uh, made it clear. Uh, and then when you start talking about post-purchase, we'll, we'll see what they do now that I've purchased one, but I'm expecting to be underwhelmed in terms of remembering that this is just the beginning of my relationship with this printer manufacturer. And certainly in the printer game, when, when really it's all about the ink and the replenishment, uh, there's gonna be ample opportunity to give me content that could help me be a better business owner, uh, that could help me understand um, how to increase the lifetime uh, value of that machine for me, uh, how to uh, maximize my usage from paper and ink uh, replenishment. Um, I just think that we need to remember all four components and as marketers spend a little bit less trying to get me into that store and make it a whole lot more enjoyable once I'm there to know what I'm buying and to go home with confidence because I'm going home uh, filled with uh, self-doubt and loathing. So uh, from a printer category perspective, I give that shopping experience a, a, a two out of five and, uh, and hope that uh, other brands can do a better job in the future, either as a manufacturer or as a retailer to step up and make this a better experience.